Hey everybody and welcome back to another walkthrough of mine. So for this one, you guessed it, it's for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now when this game came out I didn't do a walkthrough with commentary for it, but now that I have the means to do a half decent quality commentary, you can bet I'm doing one for this, because it is the only sort of really good Star Wars game that EA have released since they got the rights to it. Uh, I particularly loved this game. Uh, there was some like, I do have some issues with it. Uh, it does rather seem uh, out, like rather out of the way from the rest of the Star Wars universe, but uh, it's, it's the first game of what I consider, but uh, what I'm guessing will be like a franchise uh, of games, so yeah, uh, that's fine, I guess. I was thinking of doing this on Jedi Grand Master and making it a challenge, but then I realized that the game is not the combat system isn't perfect I think um, definitely not something that I'm accustomed to so Jedi Knight's probably the safest way and I'll just come out with a bunch of um, Star Wars trivia for you okay select there been on the space right which one which one uh, oh, that one I guess Uh, overwrite this game but there we go yeah I've played this through when I first recorded this I had to play through three times because the first time I streamed it and didn't like the quality and the second time I deleted half the walkthrough by mistake so hopefully this one goes like this this is just one and done I don't have to <laughs> replay this like two or three times I hope and now we wait wait for the loading screen. A loading screen that never comes. Ah, oh, there you go. your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. Could be good for us. There he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gal will double your pay for this shift. Come on, Cal. What's her score? That couldn't hurt. Let's go. Get to work. This way. I'm right behind All right, you. first off, I just want to say that Cameron Monaghan in this role is pretty good, I think, um, as far as Star Wars protagonists go, I guess. Uh, he's not too bad. Um, I've only ever really seen him in Gotham, which isn't a great sort of uh, reference, really, uh, <laughs> for quality. But, yeah, I mean, I think he's a pretty good actor. He did Jerome and Jeremiah fairly well, um, and he does Cal pretty well. Sorry, Cal. Don't worry about it. Can't spend money on so yeah, I think that was a good, uh, that was a decent casting choice. Up here. The only one in this game that I actually know for that way. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much just pretty true. Hey, you look at that? A separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Ages. Breaking her will be big money. Alright, let's go. Uh, 
Yep, but yeah, one of the things I didn't like about this game as well, um, just off the bat, is that uh, you never actually, it doesn't feel too Star Wars. Hey, you okay? Oop, uh. Yeah, I'm good. The ladder's out, though. You're gonna have to find another way. Yeah, no problem. I'll improvise. Like, a, lo there, a lot of the planets you go to in the game are quite out of the way planets, which, uh, even in regular Star Wars stuff, people don't go to. Like Kashyyyk and Dathomir. But, you know, those are the type of planets you go to in this. The only thing that really felt so, like, felt so Star Wars I guess, is towards the end, when you go to, uh, one of the, the, the fortress. That was kind of Star Wars y. Like, the type of thing I'm thinking of is, like, getting captured by the Empire or like, a Star Destroyer or something. Immediately. You are not approved trash. Approved trash? Just not approved trash. Like you mostly just get... <coughs> you mostly just have to explore like out of the way areas. Um, like forests and whatnot. Uh, you do, actually no, I, I take it back. Uh, Forest Whitaker is in this game. As uh, Saul Guerrero. From Rogue One and Rebels. Just passing through. Uh, yeah, Rogue One and Rebels, because I think someone else voices. Yeah, I'm sure positive someone else voices the character in Clone Wars. Hurry up. We're close to finishing ahead of schedule. I can just about taste the credits. Gonna be a wild night tonight. Let's get this job done. Reckless cow. Good to see you. You too. Get yourself killed. That's the idea. This does seem like a terrible, terrible place to work. No health and safety. Sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Just passing through, guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's the first time I've died in this bit. Hey, it's Prof. Hey, Cal. I'll meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. How come he's getting around a lot easier than I am? Look what I'm doing. And he's just walking up there. He's like, yeah, fine. Whoa. Yeah, personally, um, I'm, do I'm waiting for uh, uh, Star Wars Jedi Academy to be released finally on Switch and PS4. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? Huh? Yeah, that's basically the game I'm waiting for, uh, right there. Because I played uh, Jedi Outcast, and that's on my channel with commentary uh, as well, if you want to check that out. But yeah, that's uh, this is basically what I'm... Like, Jedi Academy is not my favourite Star Wars game, so can't wait. And they haven't announced a release date anyway as of recording this, which is very, very annoying. The ship cutter is here. There it goes. Okay, we should get moving. Yep, good looking out. Yeah, so this is a sort of answering what happens to all that stuff that the Republic used in the Clone Wars, I guess. It all just gets broken down and remade into you know, Imperial weapons and vehicles and the like. Also, why would you make a, a ship breaking yard that's right above a creature with tentacles coming out of the ground? Like even in Star Wars, Cal, that's a bit reckless. Use the manual override lever below. <coughs> Got it. Your turn. Hold on. All right, clamp secured. Whoa. You okay? 
Still here. Uh, give me a fright there, pal. Gun! Hang on! I got this! Come take a look at this. It's a Jedi fighter. What a score! It's a real scrapper's payday. I mean, this thing's been here, what, four years? Five. <laughs> Whoever flew this went down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back here in the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Listen to me. Find us free like this? To be your ticket off this soggy walk. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. <sighs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me, though. What is that? Like I said earlier, health and safety is not existent in the Star Wars universe. Bro, you okay? Cal! I, I can't climb up! Bro, just hang on! I'm slipping! No, don't let go! I, I can't hold on! Bro! No! Oh. You okay, bro? I'm, I'm all right. Just pin down. Pilot's gone. I'll get us out of here. Just hang on. Watch out, Cal! Look out! This thing is barely flying. Hold on! You all right? Yeah. Okay, we gotta... We gotta move. Come yeah. on. What the hell happened? What was that back there? Was, it, was that you? What, that, that was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please, no, trust me. I've seen, the, I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. The out on people like you. I know. I know. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, he's given up that he's a yeah, a Jedi. There was a Viper droid in the background there, which is way more like prominent in the trailer than it is in the actual game, for some reason. You holding up okay? Good. Yeah. You? Yeah. Kel, I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> so, I know the risk that you took for me. I just, I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Well, you don't have to worry about me. This place. Maybe you should, you know, disappear. I'm just gonna head back to my place, grab my bag. Tapper owes me a favor. Oh. I heard he was up on the uh, Marshadella. Yeah. You won't be seeing me for a while, Prof. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, Kel. Oh my god, he's gone! Where could he have gone to? Okay, uh, excuse me, uh, coming through. Uh, well. Prof? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Gonk. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Come hey, Prof, old buddy, where you going? Prof, wait hey, up. excuse me, coming through. Oh, thank you for disappearing. Right, that's creepy. Where are you going? Prof. Don't be a dick. Stop walking away. Ah, you a-hole. Ah, oh, this is the thing. This is actually um, an easter egg. Where if, you, if I just stand here and keep hitting it 66 times, you will hear the Emperor's voice go, Execute Order 66. And that's basically, um, yeah, an easter egg, apparently. I wouldn't have thought so, but yeah, that's an easter egg. Um, and also, for anyone who didn't realise, uh, the guy who voiced the em who voices the Emperor in most things now, and Darth Maul and so on, is Sam Witwer, who is Deacon St. John in Days Gone, and Starkiller in uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. So yeah, he's the one who uh, voices those two characters now, most of the time. Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in. Or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. Refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. 
and engineers became scrappers. The workers? I just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire, we're all just expendable. Yes, you all. <laughs> No! Look at this. A lightsaber. I found the Jedi! What's that? Checking out the disturbance. Oh, that hurts. Hold it. Go move. How'd you get here? Uh, there was a freak accident. Got a stowaway. And I fell. Hey, you don't. Motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. So, um, those two were Imperial Inquisitors. They were introduced into the new canon during Star Wars Rebels, and their main job is to basically hunt down any surviving Jedi in the universe, like they're basically doing now. Hear that over the comm? Jedi? Stay sharp. Traitor, blast him! Hold still! Force is conscious! Contact confirmed! Shoot to kill! Go alone now, Jedi! Jedi is here! Alright, let's in! I've sealed the cargo door! Really isn't their lucky day, is it? Like, yeah, what do you have to do? One way out. Well, just defend the uh, cargo transport. It's like, oh, this cargo transport happens with a day on it. That will massacre us. Gotta keep moving. What are we to do? I've been training this morning with the rest of us. I chose to rest and The tutorial section is annoying because you have to do everything. That's how you prepare they for death. Tell you. Rest when you're dead, Stormtrooper. Enemy located! I can't do this by myself! As indicated by this part, because if you don't do exactly as they tell you to, then the guys will just keep dropping down that hole. Too fast! You killed them all! <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> just keep happening. I suppose that uh, some kids might play this or watch their parents play it. Uh, oh no! Need cover! We gotta move in between about, bursts. Um, Star Wars Jedi Academy is that you can actually chop uh, the piece. You can chop armies and legs off. And, uh, so yeah, that's one good thing about that. Faster! 
Oh, we'll do good. No! Get down! Ah! 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 Oh yeah, that never happened. Never happened. Oh, no, no. Ah! Come on, Dell, the protagonist did not die. Well, this is bad. Only way is up. Progress. We're here to help! Who are you? No time! Keep moving! We'll pick you up when we can! This part of the train is. I haven't even seen you yet. And it's already on fire. And gone. Seemingly. Yeah, that, that, that fell off. Okay. Ooh. The Empire needs to better maintain their trains, it seems. Guys, come on. Try your luck. I won't let you kill me. You don't have much of a choice in that, I'm afraid. Right now. I died. Train stuff? I assume I don't have to jump through that.
Yeah, this is one of those weird boss battles that you are meant to lose. It's like designed for that. That's just rude. Uh, quickly recover. Not to be down. Faster than I thought. Do not test my patience. Come now. Let's end it. Come on, Cal. You can do it. You can do it. thing off and grab some seat. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Sir Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Braca. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? Well, it's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway. That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. You too? Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? Captain, set a course for Bagano. Aye, aye. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. Was that some kind of veiled threat, do you think? You're safe. You gotta move For on now. and live your life. Find your destiny. Calico! You were talking in your sleep. Weirdo. Really? Am I the weirdo? Or are you the weirdo for looking at me sleep? You weirdo. Alright. Well, I think I am going to call it a day here. Um... Yeah, so this is basically where I'll be staying for when I'm on the ship, more or less, at the back, in the end, by the engine, for some reason. Um, right. Yeah, if you guys could leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, that would be great. If you could check out the end screen as well, 
there should be two suggestions for stuff on my channel that you might like um, that's pretty much it hope you've enjoyed the part the uh, the opening uh, I'm gonna be doing this to its completion uh, definitely I shouldn't take too long to you know get up on my channel so you should be seeing this fairly shortly uh, I hope uh, Hope you've enjoyed the commentary as well. Hope it's uh, a lot better than some of the other stuff I've been doing. Because I'm using my new, the new method of recording commentary now. So hopefully it sh uh, should sound a bit better when it's overlaid with the gameplay. I hope. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself. Do take care. And I look forward to hearing from you then. For now though, see you next time.